we want to bring, uh, I always keep saying waves, uh, positive nave, waves for awareness, nature, awareness. awareness, you know, the young people, Education. look, we just have to work for it and it's going to be better, we're going to have a better world. So that's one of our really wanting to be in nature, to be a kind of a projecting us for other people uh, that they can do the same and art is a wonderful way to project. to nature or my connection to Brazil actually I feel it started when I was a young child because I was crazy about anything to do with the Amazon and I really didn't know about the Atlantic rainforest until I came to Brazil and what brought me to Brazil was true love so I met the love of my life and he brought me here and once I began exploring this forest I knew that this was a forest that I was meant to to discover, to work for, to support, to create art in support of, and, and that is what has brought me to this point where we're standing today. I'm a professional banker, investment banker, with a career in investment banking, and, um, but banking was mostly important for my uh, head, for my intellectual world but I never felt touched by heart or soul. As a banker, I have never heard about a bird. I know the beauty, but I had no idea what nature really means. And I decided to jump in the cold water and uh, immigrated to Brazil, where my family lived for four years, 1952 to 1956. And we decided to go to the Atlantic forest, to the place around Curitiba, we knew it as the biggest reminiscent of, uh, of the Atlantic forest. And uh, when Kitty saw the diversity of this forest, of each tree, how many bromeliads and epiphytes and everything what's existing, each tree, we had completely crazy. And birds. And yeah, beside the birds and wildlife monkeys. and everything and monkeys. <laughs> so we got completely out of mind of the area uh, around Curitiba. And in Curitiba, we're standing here in a private reserve, RPPN, uh, Airuma, it's a little difficult name, Airuma, and uh, you see here behind, look, the, a tree of 300, and perhaps 350 years old, Araucaria forest, this beautiful, beautiful tree, and we're standing 20 minutes from the center of Curitiba. That's fantastic, you don't see that anywhere. Well, the northern brown heller, I was able to take that project and my photographs of that monkey in the area to a, a Facebook group that I had at the time called 52 Weeks Nature Painting Challenge. So I was able to present them with these images, um, probably around two or three hundred artists at the time. Now we transitioned that group to a group called ABUN, Artists and Biologists Unite for Nature. And we created that in 2016, so we're in our fourth fourth year of that and we're on our 28th project and our 29th project will be the Mico Liao de Cara Preta, the uh, black faced lion tamarind of this forest. We've done several projects for animals of this forest already. We feel like we're it's an outreach because the biologists and organizations are able to use that artwork for educational and marketing purposes in any way that they want to. The artists freely give the use of their images for that purpose. The feeling when I enter the forest, it, it wakes up all my senses. So um, it's not like being in the studio where I'm working from a photograph and maybe playing my favorite music. I'm listening to all the sounds of the forest and I'm feeling the temperature in the forest and uh, I'm taking in the smells of the forest because it's always so fresh. I feel the humidity in the forest. Um, all that that I take in, I also feel like is part of, of the expression that comes out in the painting. So it's, it's a very involved process and I, I keep looking at my subject and responding to it. It's not 
an academic, oh, I have to do this first and this first and this next. Um, it's more of an intuitive approach and I respond to the forest and to the painting itself and with the colors I use, the brushwork uh, that I use in expressing it. But usually my paintings are very uh, quickly painted and with a lot of uh, energy because that's what I feel when I'm in the forest. What happens to someone who loves nature, it's kind of the same feeling. The moment you hit an area which is kind of untouched or relatively untouched, you suddenly become one. You feel that you are one. It's where you are, you, you are made of. You know, like we say, we are out of dust. You are part of this. Every animal who walks around us in here somewhere is breathing the same air I'm breathing. So it is one. We are not different. We are part of nature. The Atlantic Forest, the Grange Reserva, is, is special and it's different and it's here and it's in southern Brazil. Amazing, amazing. <laughs>